Hey everybody, welcome to Addie's Place. I uh, have a friend's birthday coming up and I was going to start doing her bag and her card and I thought maybe you'd want to see it. So, uh, so far all I've gotten is this and I just was adhesive. So I have a paper bag and if I peel this off it will probably rip the bag. So I'm just going to put this right over it. And this paper was from that Paula Dean uh, tag. Tag set I got. Tag pad. So there it is. And then I just trimmed off the circle part and put that on there. And then I edged the corners a little bit. So they all matched. And that was it. Easy. Easy as cake pie. Well, pie is not always so easy to make. And then I have these. So I thought I would put one of those on there cut this out and get, get at these. These I got at the dollar store. I couldn't believe it. Three dimensionals. And since this is a bag, I'm not going to make it super fancy. I think I will use Thinking of You. And these already have adhesive on the back. Okay. So we'll just leave this as I'll add some ribbon. Maybe I'll put a bow on there quick. That's probably too small. I'm going to go grab a piece of ribbon. Let's see, probably... Let's grab a little bit of brown. I do like brown. She likes earth tones, so I'm trying to stay within the earth tone range as I make stuff. There we go. Maybe a little, a little twisted there. See if I can fix that. There we go. Even the bow out, and voila, perfect. And I'm gonna nip the ends. And I am going to burn them quick. Grab my... And uh, if you're a young one, don't, don't use lighters or matches. Have your mommy or daddy do it. Alright. There we go. Now they won't fray because it melts the edges. Let me show you that. Let's bring it into the viewfinder so you can see it. Sorry about this light. The sun is it's just at that angle. So we're going to have this streak of light. Um, what should I do? I'm going to pop dot that. Oh, pop dot it. I'm all about the pop dots. Okay, I will just stick that right there. There we go. Cute little bag. Let me try to let's jump over just a titch. Uh, no matter which way to go, we're still gonna have the light coming in. Okay, so that's how that looks. Open it up. Like so. And I'll add some ribbon on here. Oops, a little bit of fuzz there. I hope you could see what I was doing. Let me back this up a bit. I guess that's it. So let's do this. We'll just move the whole whole shebang. You can see my messy counter. That's alright. Crafters are creative by nature and messy with their stuff sometimes. Not everybody. I don't speak for everybody. That's pretty organized though. It's a lot of stuff. And 
I think I'm going to take and do like a bow cut. So what I'm doing is I'm folding this ribbon in half evenly and I'm going to nip inwards. Uh, I did it the wrong way. Nip outwards. Away from you. There we go. See, kind of wompy, but oh, I suppose I can't do it with this. Because it's going to fray. That's alright. A little bit of glue. I'm not going to burn it now because it's on the bag. There we go. Something on my scissors here. Let me get that off of there. Okay, so I'm going to do the little. Add a little bit of liquid adhesive. My finger. should just be using my Elmer's glue for this instead of using this. I'm just going to touch the edges. There we go. Alright. So that's a cute bag. I'll add tissue in there. I'll put some of our presents in there. So let's make a third. And this card, this card measures, let's take a gander. I've got, uh, looks like six and a quarter by four and five eighths. And I picked these two papers. This has like owls, birds, squirrels, turtles, bunnies, hedgehogs. You actually get a kick out of that. So I'm going to use this as the base. I don't measure with the ruler. A lot of times um, I just go in and mark with my uh, bone folder. Let me turn this down a bit so you can see what I'm doing again. Okay. Just put lining my mark up. Sometimes it's hard to find, so you might have to feel for it. Well, let's put it in that ray of sunlight. I should be able to see it better. Nope. There it is. Oh, there you see it. So this will go down first, like so. And this one I'm just going to uh, draw a little bit of line. I'm going to cut just inside this line when I cut it out. Maybe about eighth of an inch. Just a little bit. See? Not too much. Very cute. Ooh, I think I'm going to trim it a little more. Grab my other smaller one. A little more the, on the width wise. Great. Maybe 
maybe a little more up top here too. I'll get a little bit of maybe I'll just get rid of that. So there's this white edge right here. I'm just gonna take care of that because there isn't one down here. Well, it's just adorable. Well, the paper blends so well, it looks like it's just one one thing. Let me zoom in a little bit. There. See? So cute. Alright, so I think I maybe want to add some ribbon to this. So I am going to put this down because I'm not going to add ribbon to this part. I'm using the AdTech paper strip paper strip. <laughs> uh, glue adhesive is not paper strip. So they call this snail adhesive. Okay. I think this one might be done. I've been using this a whole lot today. <coughs> now these may be refillables too, huh? Cool. Okay. So we'll put that one aside and I'm going to grab a new one here. This is the pack I got at Marshall's. I had four. Pretty cool. Da, 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 da. There we go. Watch how your card opens. Line it up. Try to center it. everything's contacted between the paper and the card blank. That's what we have so far. You know, I might ink the edges here. Let's, uh, I think I'm going to do that to give some definition. And, uh, maybe I'll use, let me see, I'm just going through my distress inks. Uh, maybe a brown. This is vintage photo and everything. I'm going to try a different one. Um, let's see, how about frayed burlap? That sounds like a good choice. Good choice indeed. And I'm just going to ink the edges. Just a little bit. I don't want to come too much onto the paper itself. If it does a little, that's okay too. Let's see. I think I do want some ribbon. I'm going to put some ribbon on that matches that card. So I'm going to bring this over to my ribbon station, cut ribbon. And, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to use, I don't know whether I use the striped ribbon. It might be too much. Or the plain. Can't see the plain. So we're going to use the striped. Okay, so I grab enough to go over and around. And I'll put some adhesive on the back. Try to get it even. I don't push down because you got adhesive there. Connect one side. <coughs> I'm taking a look. Because I want to attach this in there, so I'm going to do this real quick. Make a little knot. Okay. And then, because I'm trying to follow this green line, I went outside the bounds. Went out of bounds. This little square I got through Creative Memories. It takes this kind of stuff off. So I'm just rubbing the dot glue that went over the green line off. Alright. 
And I'm trying not to push down because I still got adhesive on the other side that's not contacted. Oh, I did it anyway. Follow the rules. It's okay. Let's put a little more in there. There we go. Alright. And we'll just nip this. So. And I'm going to burn these quick. Maybe I'm not. I don't know what I do with my... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, I just used it. It's kind of like the raven on the other video. Where'd it go? That is too funny. My counter is not that messy. Here it is. I put it behind me out of the way. I'm just going to burn these edges quick. I was blowing it to cool it so it doesn't burn the card. And you do it fast so it doesn't catch on fire. Okay. There we go. This is adorable. It's like so. Okay, I'll put some adhesive on here. Okay. Again, I check my card. And I'll put it down. Center it. There we go. It's adorable. Put that. I wonder if there's a blue one. Nope. I wonder if we sh I should have put the thinking of you because that does have the colors that are in here. I wonder if that will come up. Although, we could just leave it. That way it's coordinating. Oh yes, let's coordinate. Then it looks like we know what we're doing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put it in the screen. Very cute. Uh, let's see, what else do we have we could use on here? I feel like I need a something there, but I don't want to overdo it. Maybe that little flower. would work well. See this flower here? That's nice. I'm going to do that. Very cute. Okay, let's see. Inside we need a happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Okay, I'm going to use this happy birthday stamp. This is, um, well, the price tag's covering who it's by. And it looks like Inka Dinka do. And I think I will do... What color? Let's do a... Maybe a blue. Since it's birthday. Birthday. Oh, it's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. Alright. Let's stamp that up. Okay. And I'll let that dry. 
So let's see. That looks pretty good. So I think I'll leave it like that. I might add a couple balloons. Let me see if I got some balloon stickers because you got to have balloons for your birthday. Um, wait. Oh, I cannot believe I do not have birthday balloons. Oh, here we go. I have some in here. I don't. Oh my goodness sakes. Okay. Now what? What will people think? No, I don't. Okay. Well. Hey. But there's some. Woo -hoo -hoo. Saved. Alright. There we go. Good. Woo! Why doesn't that have a sticker? Should have a sticker. Well, you know what we got here. We'll add one. Whoops. Sorry, I bumped the camera there. We're still good? I'm going to add a pop dot to the back of this because there isn't anything there holding it. Alright. <coughs> Easy. Okay, so it's thinking of you, a little bit of ribbon, happy birthday, and then I'll write those sentiment in there for her. I'm going to leave this open so it can dry. And, and here's the bag, so then they'll match. How fun is that? That didn't take too long to do, huh? Alright, thanks for watching Annie's Place. Take care. Bye-bye.